look at the slide on the back wheel as he went through the corner. The calm after the storm. Yesterday, Peter Sagan was penalised for barging into Wout van Aert in the final sprint in Poitiers. I didn't see it like uh, the movement, what I did was very dangerous or something. It's just uh, like that. I had the speed and I wanted to pass. Same thing maybe happened uh, three years ago, ago with uh, Mark Cavendish. He crashed, it was my fault, and yesterday I went me from the bag and it was again my fault. Then uh, I don't understand. Sagan falling 68 points behind Sam Bennett in the fight for the green jersey. And so on to stage 12, where the breakaway had a very good chance of going all the way. A high octane start, the average speed over 50 kilometers an hour as four men peeled off at the front. So two Spaniards, two German riders. As they disappear up the road, is this the break of the day already? Asgreen going clear with Burgado. Danish champion Kasper Asgreen and tour debutant Mathieu Burgado making it six in the break after 63k. Two riders join the front group. Kasper Asgreen wearing number 42 and Burgado. But the peloton had no intention of letting them cruise clear. Bora Hansgrohe working hard for Sagan, keeping the gap steady at around two minutes. It was then onto the hometown of a Tour de France legend, the late Raymond Poulidor. J'étais huit fois sur le podium. Je n'ai jamais porté le maillot jaune. Moi, on m'a dit Poulidor, le malchanceux, c'est pas vrai. J'ai eu énormément de chance. Well, the game of cat and mouse continued as CCC joined forces with Bora Hansgrohe at the front of the peloton. The breakaway set to be reeled back in. But there was still plenty of action to come on the narrow, twisting roads into Sahon. The six leaders caught before Mark Solera of Movistar kicked on, leading over the penultimate climb. Sunweb then sent three riders up the road. This is a big move by Sunweb. They've got Bernouk, they've got Craig Anderson, they've got Hirschi, all in that chase. And now an attack, the hurricane strikes, here she goes clear. You know you'll have other opportunities on this Tour de France. Hirschi, is he going to win the stage? Who gets it? Tadej Pogacar wins the stage. I would like to win and uh, I didn't win, so uh, yeah. We welcomed him on stage number nine. He was caught 1,800 metres from the finish. Today, it's not going to be like that. This rider is going to take his first ever victory as a professional rider. The hurricane descender from Switzerland, Mark Hirschi, wins with a Herculean effort. Stage 12 goes to Mark Hirschi. What an emotion. You've got it. You've got that stage. How sweet is the taste? I, uh, I was always doubting because I was, they were close and I always had a picture in mind from the last two stages I was close. So really last three on last K at first time belief that I can make it and uh, yeah it's hard to find the word it's it's my first pro victory and uh, then in the tour so it's yeah it couldn't be better it's like a dream third time's a charm for here Sheik, who came within a whisker of victory on stages two and nine the 22 year old celebrating his first pro win and there's no better place to get it than the Tour de France Roglic will spend a fourth day in yellow on stage 13 when the GC contenders will be back at the forefront. Today was all about Hirschi, Switzerland's first tour stage winner since 2012.